Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this episode, we are going to go and hunt some copper down. Um, my plan for this episode is to get this copper ore patch mined. 42 million ore. Um, but first, I want to get myself a better power suit. And one of the things that I sort of forgot about is that these conditions were actually wrong on these things. They should have been uh, less than three instead of just two. Uh, so I had to change that so that I could get enough uh, modules to to get my power suit, which we need five each of the blues and greens. There we go. Get that last one there. Um, and then they'll, they'll make some more because inevitably I will want another power suit. Um, so we'll let that get crafting and we'll go back to the mall for now. I did add some of the other products to my mall. Um, specifically personal laser defense, which is being crafted up here from lasers and also Roboports Mark II. We have four in there, which is excellent. We're going to have a whole bunch of robot ability very shortly, which is going to be fairly important because while we have nanobots, um, nanobots don't have the range of regular robots. So they do have limitations. Um, so we're going to try to combat that because as we're building these big mining areas like this, it is so helpful to have a very large range. And though nanobots can probably help us with some of it, I'd really have rather have more of it happening. So what do you guys, oh, we're missing an inserter here. Oh dear. Let's get, put that in. I don't know how that got missed. I'll check the blueprint um, on the Google drive and make sure that that's working, but I don't think we're going to need it uh, much right now. We want to replace these things, take off this armor, put on our power armor mark two. Now in order not to have an accident, i.e. item overflow, grab your power armor from your inventory and then put it on your character like that. Don't do it the other way around. You also need to refresh the UI um, to show the bigger grid. All right, let's get our power armor there and one set of legs there. Uh, we're gonna need another fusion reactor. Let's see, we need more processing units. That's okay because we have plenty. See, no. They keep knocking me off the track here. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I need, I need more. And let's just grab. Reverse this. There we go. Then I can just eat up all the lovely processing units that are coming by. Um, uh, but while we're doing that, let's get some research T. What shall we get? Ah, uh, wow. Explosive rocketry, character logistics slots. That could be good. Oh, mining productivity would be even better. Let's just have some of that while we get our units here. I like to always carry two portable fusion reactors, at least in this iteration of the game. Uh, it's pretty, pretty useful to, to get stuff going. I suppose I could have just called for those, couldn't I? Um, but yeah, we're starting to make our nice little cache of these uh, personal lasers, which are really good for fighting biters. So I'm excited about that. Uh, let's put in our personal roboports in the recycling bin so far. We are going to want several sets of legs. I think the maximum it can support is five, um, as I recall. So we'll put this last one in here. But eventually I want to have two... Whoa, hello, fast walking speed. Greetings. Welcome. I have two batteries. I never want more than two batteries, generally. There we go. And going to have our reactor here. And otherwise, the... Um, Roboport's there. I don't think there's anything else that I needed. This is, by the way, this is a building suit. This is in no way intended to compensate uh, for enemies. For enemies, I will have a combat suit, which is a completely different thing. I think I'll make a set of night vision goggles here. There we go. They're pretty cheap to make. There we go. I also try the perfect night glasses. Those are the ones that come with the Afraid of the Dark mod. Okay. Where do we want to put these things? Oh, they're there. And we'll get one more Roboport. We just want one. Thank you. 
All right, we have been shopping for clothes and our fashion is impeccable. This is great. This is so good. And we're going to let the module makers make the rest for our combat power suit. As you can see, the batteries charge extremely slowly. Um, it's probably also charging all of the things at once. Um, all of the exoskeletons need to be powered. The personal roboports need to fill up on energy as well. And then the batteries kind of tend to get charged last. They output only 750 kilowatts. So it'll take a while, but you'll see the amounts in the battery rising slowly from there. Now, I think we're ready to go move on to get stuff sorted out. I, um, did I mention the things that I added? Oopsie, I really do not want termite bots going while we're doing this. I don't want to like delete all the forests on the map. I added, a couple of people mentioned roboports. We won't need that many roboports, but I added them anyway. I also added train stations and I can't remember if there's anything else. Somebody suggested pumps. I don't have pumps made in the mall and I don't want to. So I put engines there um, and I did that in the last episode. And I think that might be it. Uh, but we have quite a lot of stuff in our train. We even have a full complement of blue belts, which is amazing. Um, considering that we just started making them. At the moment, we're just short on iron to make them. I decided that this whole area, I think we're going to have become a sort of main train station area where we can have our building train. If we want to have a supply train, like the wall supply train will come in here. And of course, the solar train will, will stay in that area as well. So we're going through the forest and we're going to block off probably that, um, that other train just for a little bit until we get this stuff out here sorted. All right, let's stop here for now. And what I want to do is, wow, we got to get rid of all these trees. Good gracious. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? No, I can't believe I forgot this. I was thinking about it the whole time. All right, these take have a robot limit of 25. So we can carry 50, 125 robots. We can, we can command um, for ourselves here. Let me just walk through these forests a little bit to get some of this stuff off. Otherwise, I'm going to have to carry all this wood home, which is not really the best, most fun time in the world, for sure. Just walk quickly, and I love having these exoskeleton legs that let me just walk zap fast through everything. It's really nice. Very tasty meowy, I have to say. Very tasty meowy. Right, um, go back to regular guns, and here I'm going to pick up some robots. I'm going to pick up, there aren't any in here? Wow. None? Really none? None, none? Oh man, they must be all scattered in, in the network. All right, there are some on the train, so I think we'll just take those for now uh, to buff our robot supply in the suit. I think we can move this. Uh, should we move it up? That's the question of the ages, isn't it? Um, not maybe not the ages, but a query worth questioning. Where the heck did they go? Oh, here they are. Right. Okay. I'm gonna take both of these. We'll have a hundred and well, that's hundred and fifty. That's pretty good. Uh, right. Whoa. No. 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 We'll take this much. Thank you. Use map mode. We are going to just pretty much grab this entire train station and flip it round um, to build the copper station because we have it, why not use it? Let's grab this whole thing like this and life will then be grand. We're going to take out these power poles though. Take out all the power poles, probably these lights as well next to the power poles. I don't want those. And I think we're going to convert the blue things or the red things to blue. All right, let's go here. Take out upgrade planner. Um, we want to go the opposite direction. Just clear these, please. And we're going to go from red to blue. All right, drop our nice little planner 
are our thing here. Oh, I love that. I love that feature. Thank you, Clonan, for making that. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> we love this. Right now, here is our queer. Oh, okay. Actually, I could put this further up than I kind of thought about. Yeah, right here would, would be pretty decent. I want to just go around those power poles because why not? This might be a really good spot for it ish here yeah uh one thing we really i'm thinking we want to ignore this 1.9 million is almost nothing so i'm thinking we'll just use the the um train station here yeah this is gonna be good boom hey bots how you doing nice and they are all flying out now i really want robot speed do we have speed? Yes, worker robot com or worker robot speed. Good, good, good. Oh, look, they're all carrying all the stuff. What I'd like to do though, we want to get our train off the line so that it doesn't interfere with the solar train's deliveries. So I think that's one of the first things we should go and do. Hey robots, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. So to collect your robots quickly, you can right click on them or just hold right click on the ground. Oh, all right. We have turrets there as well. <laughs> See, at this point, we don't even need any vehicles. We can walk so darn fast. And I also want to get some of this track in my inventory. How did that happen? Uh, I must have shift clicked it in the wrong time. There we are. We'd love to have this done. Now the awesome thing is, as you can see, I have a humongous construction area. Uh, and this is why I love to have regular robots um, and not just rely on nanobots. Is this working here? Does this have a... Uh... Oh, it has a power pull in the middle of it. Right. I'm going to have to figure that out. Am I out? I am out. Okay, let's get this going off and re-click this down. Boom. And we do need to get our power back because otherwise life will be bad. There we go. I think we can safely go to the left. So we. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Please don't run into me, train. No. Oh. oh my god, that solar train is so close. Okay. Left. Really? All right, fine. <laughs> we'll go around. I don't know why it didn't connect, but, um, oh no, we can't go around. Shoot. Okay. I don't know why it didn't go to the left like I wanted it to. All right. Solar train, you're going to have to go to manual mode, please. We'll back this one up a lot. So we're not so tight on things. Here, bots. Here. I will let you on your merry way, and then I'll go and fix the trains. There we go. The rest of you can follow me around. It'll be fine. Worker robot speed. Boom. Let's have another one. Why did this not work? This is connected. I'm going to go backward here. And yes, you can enter the train on any car you want. I think it's kind of cool. Except for the fact that, um, I hope we can steer this. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> this is weird driving from the back of the train. Oh man. Okay. So one of the things that I did when I, I um, put in my, um, uh, blueprint book is make these train parking spaces one longer than they needed to be. And that's on purpose so that I could put the building train in here. All right, let's take our solar train and go back to automatic mode. Let that go on its way and get stuff sorted. All right, so what do we got now? Let's empty out. I don't want it to auto trash logs right now and stone. We're just gonna put those into the last cab here of stuff, or the last wagon, I should say. 
Um, do we need anything else? I do need, we're going to need belts and inserters. Oh, wow. You know, what we forgot to do is we are not using the right inserters. Alas, that is a shame right now. I have two train stops on me. Let's go and get all this stuff. Come on, bots. Let's go. And we're working on even the next worker robot speed. This is fantastic. Do I have combinators on me? Are these ghosts? I can't tell. I honestly can't tell if they're ghosts or not. <laughs> Come on, bots. Let's go. And as you can see, as the bots charge, you'll see the batteries going down quite significantly quickly. Um, right, let's get this sorted. No, that would be the wrong way. Let's get them the right way. Now, most of the time, these kinds of stations don't need stack inserters on the pickup side because they sort of pick up over time. Get rid of this. There we go. There we go. Actually, I can go all the way along since there's um, power poles separating them out. Okay, I think... Do we have that sorted now? Because stack inserters, they cost an extra uh, red circuit apiece, which is a lot. This thing, is this operational? It is! Look at that. Fantastic. So these are each. Um, very, very nice. I'm excited. This is good. Okay, do we have everything here done? What are we missing? Anything? Wow, we're missing production modules? Where? Really? Oh, for here. I see, I see. Hmm. 52 of them. All right, well, I should uh, have that going, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I should make that chest uh, into a provider. I could. I could do that. I could have it just use up all of our circuits. Okay. Um, let's do that. Why not? We will remove this guy for now. And we will put it into a provider chest. Do I have one? Yes, right there. Good. I can use even a yellow inserter. It's only going to be made one at a time. And is this in the RoboPort network zone? Oh, it is. Leslie, it is. Fantastic. Now, 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 we have another uh, an issue over here. We have all of this stuff over here. Um, right. Let's start by getting... We don't need any more railroad tracks. We've already done with all of those. So we can free our inventory to carry other things. We've already gone through all of the stack inserters, so I can put those back on the train. Um... Anything else? I think we're pretty good. Uh, somebody asked me if I should put combinators on the train. Probably not. I don't really need them. They're easy to handcraft, and I don't really need that many of them. We could use these, though. Underground belts. And we're going to need these. We're going to need lots of miners. And lots of belts. We may even need more belts than this. And, of course, we're going to need a ton of... Um, of those guys. And I think that's it. I don't think we're going to need anything else from there. Should we get out our happy blueprint book of, of module awareness in mining? This is the question. Mining, mining, mining. Oopsies. I have a one with productivity modules. And um, I just don't know if we're kind of ready for that stage yet. I don't think we are. But the question is, are we going to burn through this entire patch of 41 million copper before we get to the productivity module stage? And my guess is probably not. Uh, what I should do is set up a... I could set up a robot network here that delivers modules to places. But right now, we're just having this fledgling module creation at the moment. Um, see, these guys are going to be putting these modules into the labs, which is very cool. Um, I should get the... Do I have it? I do have it. Look at this module inserter. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, but what I would like to do is just copy the blueprint on top of these 
um, or possibly remove these all together. Okay, more speed. Yes, we'll take speed. Thank you. Hmm. Query conundrum. See, this is part of Factorio. It's like making these decisions of will I really use it anytime soon? Um, so yeah, we're just kind of like thinking about all these things. And I like to kind of try to explore them as like in, in, in the episode. So it's because it's kind of interesting to me anyway. All right, let's get this here. Boom. Boom. Uh, this one can boom over there. I'm just going to boom them right toward the front of the lane here. And once we get closer to the area where there is... Um, the overlap, we're going to be a lot more careful here. And we also will want to trim these off fairly carefully because uh, modules are no joke. They are very, very expensive. Okay, I think that's probably as far as we can go for the moment. Wow, <laughs> look at this construction range. It is insane. It's so good. It's just, we wanna trim off anything that probably cannot be used or has a very low production rate or if it's covered by another miner, then we don't really want to use it at all. This one can go as well. You have to be careful about power poles with this kind of configuration though, um, because sometimes they might power some closer in. No, this one is okay. That one can be removed. That one can go. This one can also go, but like this power pole can't be removed because it's covering this guy. Okay, let's just get these all in one swoop. The swoopy swoop. Take these off. This one can go. And these two looks like it as well. Yep. And those are good. Fantastic. These guys are not... Oh, they're being... Right. Okay. I don't want to turn them on just yet. I want to make sure that we trim off the ones that we don't need first. There we go. That one will cover that square. Perfect. Because when we get the productivity modules, we, we really do not want to waste them. Get this copied. Really? Wow, okay, I thought if you copy, looks like you have to copy the entire thing. There we go. Okay, that's very sneaky. Sneaky game. The meows are real. Okay, that's fine though. I'm gonna handle this. It's not a big deal. Okay, and these are also covered now. Yeah, the hard bit is going to be that um, that overlap point, but it shouldn't be too bad, I'm thinking. shouldn't be too bad at all. How's this going? This is okay. This one can be deleted. We need more power poles. Definitely need more power poles. This one can go as well. This one, go, go, go. Okay. I think that one can, nope, it can't go. Ooh, and I miscounted that one for sure. Okay. All right, let's take this line here. Look at our next option. Next option is space science. We can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, not yet. Uh, we could do minor, mining productivity. Uh, and some, some people brought up a very good point. When I was asking about miners per belt, I was talking about with zero mining productivity. Right now we're researching mining productivity nine, uh, not this thing, it is the bonuses. And right now we have a mining bonus of plus 16%. That is huge. Um, and it's going to affect how much the belts can carry. And so we're gonna try to take that into account with stuff 
Um, but more likely we're just going to feed lines into a very, very big balancer and have it go into the station. <laughs> That's probably the easiest thing that we can do. All right, let me take out some of these power poles. Is there anything else that I can grab from here that we need? You know what we have? Or we might run out of miners. This is a really, really big uh, patch here. But the easy thing is we can take building train. Go back, please, to the world. Please. Why you not go? Are you no pathing? Hello? Manual. Uh, I wonder why it's not going. All of the signals are red. Ah, yes. It's the red because they are the stations are not full and so it's saying nope you can't go anyway so we're gonna fix this we're gonna go take it past the signals and then hop out and then go go to the building train please okay i'm glad i kind of figured that out I was like, what the heck but we have artificially changed the signals here based on um the desire to have stuff there i'm going to get the building train and also remove some of these stations we don't want them there so that one will go back to the base and pick up some more stuff because i'm going to need more miners i mean a lot more miners this is humongous Hugh humongous uh really really big <laughs> in other words all right we're going to put down those power poles right now let's just walk through here while i find oh there's our mining blueprint okay we're good not yet okay i think we're good on power poles now maybe Maybe. We'll, we'll see when we connect it up, obviously. Um, I should explain this design probably. Uh, what this does is these have modules, which we may or may not get. But the idea with this is to have a single... Let me get out the original blueprint. This is... Oh boy, that doesn't work. Oh my goodness. Pardon my silliness there. You have to put it on a an ore patch. Right. Okay, so the idea with this is if we clear out the module things, the little blue squares, uh, one of these power poles can power six miners. So what's happening is we're using undergrounds to get through here, and by that way, we can put the miners butting up right up against each other. We don't have to have a square here to run power lines through, and so that's part of this. It also um, encourages better... Um, compression here by using the underground. I don't really know if it makes a difference because these do side loading anyway. Uh, but undergrounds are kind of a max compression item. Side loading I believe works, uh, but what this is this is making room for the power poles, what this does. Uh, some people also put lights in the second square, which you can do if you want or not. Okay, so let's get rid of this and I want to go back to my large one. There we go. I think I'm going to go and trim these side ones off kind of uh, as we get to them. We can move things around as well. I'm just going to put this as a general. This is kind of where it should go, maybe. And we can space them out accordingly later. That one goes there. Oh, wow. Perfectly fit. That's very nice. Very, very nice. I ran out of power poles again? Good gracious. Okay, apparently I did. Uh, right. So, I'm just going to take up these guys. Take up anything that can intersect with the iron. And I know there will be several. You are also iron. This one can go. So we can also go. Yep, you go. You go. You also. Uh, how about you? You are good. Okay. We'll move kind of to the side here. We ran out of undergrounds, as you see. Uh, let's get our train to come back. Let's have it go to... Let's rename these stations. We forgot to name the stations. It's pretty important. These are just going to be called Copper 1.
copy and paste and we will have our train, the building train come to copper one. Uh, circuit condition, go. All right, so that should be on its way to us. In the meantime, we can organize these ones closer to the iron patches in hopes that we could get them sorted a little bit better. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's annoying. So the blueprint won't actually show us if it will intersect the iron or not. We actually have to have an actual piece of, or, or an actual miner in our hand. Okay, there's our building train coming up the line here. So hopefully it'll stop in one of these parking spaces. And there it goes, nice. Turn it on to manual mode and we are gonna grab all the miners and some belts. Uh, oh, and underground, we need undergrounds like nobody's business. We don't even have a lot of undergrounds. Let's get uh, the power poles as well. We can delete this thing, go away. And what else can we delete? That's where all my power poles have been going. <laughs> I don't want to auto trash them. No. Oh my God. I was like, how did we get, I, I'm glad I noticed that. And by the way, if, if a YouTuber notices stuff during the video, it doesn't count for points. So don't even write to me about that. I, I, I get that. I'm good. I can, I can, I can understand this. All right get these out. This is cool because see the cargo wagon emptied itself at the, um, at the base station there. Okay. Do we have, where did our undergrounds go? We just don't have any undergrounds. Yeah. This we're going to try to go from top down, hopefully get things organized or maybe even instead of top down, maybe like right to left would be a better thing. To get some of these things functional. Oh my god, they're all on. <laughs> okay, thanks. There we go. Thanks, game. Okay, what are we missing? Anything? I don't know what we're missing. A lot of stuff. Um, I really didn't want this to go until I trimmed these things off. That's okay. We'll we'll get them. It'll be fine. This one can go. This one can also go. These guys are fineish. Did I get this area? No, probably not. Whoa! What is this stuff? Oh boy! Look at this. These are, it's also mixed on this side. No, let's hope that none of that got contaminated. All right, let's see if we can place one here. It's fine there. Right. And can we put one there? Nope. Um, could move this one to the sides. Nope, we can't. Yeah, slightly, just one. One square off, but yeah, those sneaky ones are really annoying to try to deal with. I have to say, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, no. The no is real. But yeah, okay. Get rid of these guys, just little hangers on here. You can go away. Any miner that is covering a space that other miners cover, we just don't want to add it because it's just not worth to have it and use those modules on when we finally get to having modules. Okay, these are fine, but then we just wanna see if we can move some of these over. Though, to be honest, no, I don't think we're gonna move some of them over because sometimes like this one, if I moved it over, I'd have to move this entire thing and I really don't wanna deal with that right now. Can I bookmark, or can I put that over that? No, it doesn't add the module thing alas again this one if I moved it over it would have to be yeah not good not good we can do this one though get a little bit more coverage there okay that's okay in fact I could move it even further if I wanted to I could move it right there I believe that's gonna be fine uh, this one is still getting iron so this can go there 
Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do with this. Now, we need a um, something like a 16 to 16 balancer. And I have quite a few in my blueprint book here. Uh, Johnny sent me some. Thank you very much for these. And I'm not sure that... We've got 16 wide bus, 16, 16 full, and half, half wide, four wide bus. That's very interesting. So they're basically different configurations of all of this stuff. I think I'm just going to use this one and we'll align it on the middle bits here. I'm hoping I'm choosing the correct one. All right, we need to be at least four away from... Um, the outside edges, so that's like one, two, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put it here for now and uh, call this good. And this is what we need all the splitters for. I think we're going to run out of undergrounds, but... Um, There we go. Um, and unfortunately, that's because we have very few being made at the base. I'm wondering if I should I um, should put up my uh, capacities for those upward. We may even be missing some of the mines that I didn't notice. Um, and in any case, we're going to try to um, balance this ish for 16 belts. We have many, 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 many belts here. We have a bunch. So we're going to kind of combine them as best we can um, and then go with the rest. Let's go to the go back to the base. Go to the building train station, please, which we can't do because we have the red red lights here. How many of these splitters do we need? Approximately 20. All right, 20. Do we need any over here? Let's look. You know what? We can look while the station, while the train is going to the base. Let's just get it past here, go to the building train station, and then I'm going to look on the map and see how many are we missing. Ooh, maybe we're not missing any. In fact, we may not be missing any. If we put, we did put some here and I put this as the last thing down. So I'm thinking we just need the 20 or is it really 20? I think there's more than 20. Let's see. We have 40, no, 136 altogether. Um, <laughs> that's a lot. This is probably a better estimate. We need 124. So yeah, we're going to need a whole bunch of these uh, these guys for that. We also need to put down uh, radars, move the radars, because remember, we removed the radar in the solar structure. Uh, oh, hello, we're kind of done building this. We're going to have to kill some aliens and then build another uh, couple of uh, sheets of solar panels. But yeah, all right, so we're back here in the world. What do we have for undergroundies. Do we have any? Oh yeah, and we can just shove all this stuff in here as well. We're, we're doing pretty good with, with belts and stuff. Let me put some in here because we're not going to need that many. I don't need to have this many in my inventory. Uh, but I do want to adjust the, the amounts on here. I'm making a hundred. I think we should have you make 200 at a time. And the issue, of course, is the lack of gears. These need 80 gears, in addition to all the gears that these things need as well. So right now, the whole thing is fighting. Even though we have these really fast belts, I think we're going to need to put in some speed beacons here. Do we have any beacons on us? Let's get our beacons going on. Beacons. They should be here. This is where they go. There we are. Where are they? They're somewhere. They must be here. Do we not have effect transmission? What? No. Oh, we don't have it yet. Oh my god. This is so bad. 
Okay, we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna we're not gonna watch as the bar fills up miraculously with stuffs. Uh, the other thing that we can do is make faster machines. So let's get some assembling machines. I'm gonna stop requesting assembling machines two and instead uh, get the assembling machine threes out here. And I'm gonna put in these guys into here. Okay, good. Uh, I can also, oh, here they are. They're being requested right there. So I probably should put the conditions from that to that uh, over there. But anyway, we'll get that sorted out. But we should immediately upgrade these machines. Can I please? Why you not let me do this game? Hello? Um, this is interesting. Why is this not letting me upgrade this? Huh, I have to cancel the... I wonder if that's a bug. These used to be upgradable, I thought. Um, I know there's been some recent changes to Factorio. There's um, some bug fixes and stuff. I don't know if that's intended or not. I'll have to ask on the forums. This is new to me. Right, effect transmission. Let's go back to our mining productivity. Uh, because this will help these guys a lot. But, unfortunately, let me take out all the RoboPorts because I want to... Um, wondering if I should just re-blueprint these guys. They don't have anything right now at the moment, though. Alright, we're gonna have to get this sorted out. Let's grab our bots again. And grab some beacons, which are not made yet. Beacons, yay! Unless it's an effect of the ghost copier. That's the only mod that I have that might affect this. This can also go faster. Anything that needs to go um, rapidly or takes a long time to craft, definitely worth putting in these things. And of course, high. Yeah, see, they will not go on top of these. That's so weird. Right. All right, let's go also back to our module makers, and we can put in a passive provider on those speed modules as well. And I think what we'll do is we'll limit the chest to like I don't know, four mm, a row. By the way, if you're not used to playing with modules, don't overmake them because they will eat your entire factory's production. See, we've run out of red chips altogether uh, here, but right, let's limit this to one row as well. Blue chips are another good candidate for upgrades. Just upgrade these guys. We could use Upgrade Planner. I don't know why I'm not using it. It's kind of silly of me. Uh, looks like robots were not needing to be making that many. These guys could also stand an upgrade. Uh, let's use Upgrade Planner instead of this. It's kind of silly to use this. There we go. And press U. Use our magical tool. Boom. Oh, we ran out. Shoot. I ran out. No, give me more. And I think we'll just auto trash all of these guys. We do have a recycling system in place for the assembly machines, so that's a good thing. We're getting more of these guys. Uh, also, we can upgrade all of our science to yellow assemblers as well if we want to do so. What are we missing right now in science? Looks like something's going slow. It's the purples. It's always the purples. <laughs> oh, you know what we forgot to upgrade is the stone bricks. I cannot believe we're being limited by stone bricks of all odd things. Oh man, oh man. Okay, this is just really, really weird. All right, so let's get rid of these guys. Okay, and now these can't even make stuff fast enough. What are we missing now? We're just missing gears. And I think this is going to be powered now by this. Let's get some uh, stack inserters coming in here to grab all of the gears that we can. There we go. 
Uh, this also needs to have a stack inserter because of uh, of everything necessary. This one is just waiting on what? Gears? It's always the gears. Put another one there, why not? Alright, so... These guys, what are you missing here? You're missing red chips? Whoa. That's a sad time. Oh my god, they're all being used by these guys. No. This one is limited here, by the way. Yep, I think I think we have to go on a red chip rampage soon. But soon, soon it will come because what we're doing is getting copper. Uh, and that's the whole idea with this. We just need a few of those underground belts, which let's check how many we have in the train. We have 58. All right. So as soon as we can get those 100 and whatever, 26, I think I'll go up there with 150. Um, and then I'll start the next episode where we can connect all of these uh, lines up there. But for now, that's all the time we have. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.